Jane and her best friend Marge aren't speaking since Jane learned it was Marge instead of herself that Mr. Lorenz was after for the movie. Marge's boyfriend, Neil, is also on the out with Marge. Since he learned, Marge had been going out with Mr. Lorenz. It's the next night now, and we find Mr. Race alone in the living room of the Ace's bungalow. And here comes Marge in the next room. Listen. Good evening, Mr. Race. Uh, good... Uh, what? I... I said good evening, Mr. Race. Oh, uh, good evening, Miss Hale. Do you mind if I sit around? Mind? No, I don't... What do you mean, mind? You live here. Well, it hasn't seemed altogether like home for the past few days. Oh, I... See, no, it hasn't. Uh, well, you seem pretty chipper this evening. <laughs> yes, don't I? Uh, may I ask? Uh, well, maybe I better let things stay as they are. No, you may ask. What? Well, no offense meant now. Uh, why this sudden change? Oh, that. Yes, you've been sort of drifting through here rather sullenly, if I may use the word. Oh, use it by all means. I think it describes me perfectly. Thanks, yes. Well, you have been sort of uh, retiring, may I say? No, I don't think that's the word. Well, how about... How uh, about using the word mad? Mad, yes. Yes, don't you think that fits it without any frills? Well, any... yes, come to think of it. You have had a mad on. I haven't been able to figure out why you had it on for me. I didn't do anything. Well, it wasn't just for you. It was rather the world. Oh, the world and Neil. Yes, and Neil. But now you're suddenly not mad. No, I'm making up now with the world. Oh, only with the world. How about... Only the... with the world. Oh, but how about... Uh... No, remember my temper. Oh, I wasn't going to say anything. I mean, well, I'd like to know some details. Uh, why the mad on in the first place, and why this sudden change? Well, I made up my mind it was silly to go on being this way to you people, because... Oh, yes, us people, meaning Jane. Especially Jane. I've treated her terribly. Yes. Uh, have you spoken to her? No, not yet. I've been in my room formulating a little making-up speech for her. Oh, I see. Well, uh, how do you know she'll accept it? What? Well, after all, Jane feels pretty bad about your beating her out of this contest, you know. Oh, I haven't beat her out of any contest. I never was in it. But Lorenz has you all picked out Well, am I to blame for that? Is it my fault if he made up his mind? No, but after all, you did go out with him a few times. A few but... times I went out with him once. Once? Why, last night you... Oh, yes, and last night. How did you know I was out with him last night? Well, when you went out of here last night without even speaking to Jane or me, you... Well, she... That is, we... Oh, uh, Jane was at the window again, looking next door. Well, you know, Jane... She... <laughs> I see. Well, that's all over. Mr. Lorenz and I had it out last night. I only went out with him to tell him to stop thinking of me for the part in that silly picture. Oh, and uh, is he going to stop thinking of you for Well, the... I hope so. Oh, so he isn't going to stop thinking... Well, as far as I'm concerned, he is. He seems very determined. Well, I can't help that. I wish he'd stop calling me up at the office. I see. Well, uh, getting back to a rather distasteful subject, what happens with Neil? Nothing happens. We're just finished, that's all. Oh, now, don't you think you're treating him rather... I'd rather not discuss it, do you mind? No, no, I was only... <laughs> but, uh, well, getting back to Jane now, uh, you're going to be friends with her? Yes, I am. What does that mean? Well, I don't know. She's in a doleful frame of mind, sitting around here moaning about her best friend, stabbing her in the back when she wasn't looking. And <laughs> I hope you'll be able to straighten yourself out there. She feels pretty bad about this contest. She thought she was in the bag, and all the time you were the one Lorenz had in mind. Why didn't you tell us about that? Well, I had thought of telling you, but, well, I was afraid you'd laugh at me. Laugh at you? Yes, you know the way Neil razzes me. I just thought it was an idea that Lorenz had, and it would blow over. Heavens, I didn't know the man could be as persistent as all this. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I still don't know, don't see why you're taking it out on Neil. Well, you heard the things he said to me that night he found out. Oh, well, he was just a little upset. Well, and... that finished us that night. Dear. Here she is. How about us you going to a picture show? It starts about... Oh. Hello, Jane. What? Well, hello, Jane. Oh, Hello, Mark. Oh, now, Jane. Oh, I can't help it. It's been such a long time since we spoke to each other. And I want to apologize, Jane. I'm sorry. All right. Well, now, stop crying and sit down and let's have an evening like old times. How about it? Well, 
Huh, all right. Mm, that was certainly a tough battle, wasn't it? <laughs> no, it wasn't, big. Well, Mars, let me look at you. I haven't spoken to you for so long, I've forgotten how you look. <laughs> Well, how's everything? Well, fine, Janet. How are you? Just fine, thanks. Uh, what's new? Not much. Not much, huh? No, what's new with you? Oh, not much. It's been lovely, hasn't it? <laughs> it looks like a touch of spring. <laughs> yes, it certainly does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, what'd you say, dear? Uh, nothing. I was just agreeing with you two about the weather. Oh, well... What else? What else? Yes, what else shall we talk about? After all, it's been so long. Well, I'm not very good at just making conversation, Jay. Oh, but we've been unspeakable for so long. Weren't you surprised, dear, when Mark started talking to me? Oh, yeah. I sure was. Out of a clean sky, she said hello. Well, I decided I've been treating you rather shabbily, Jane. After all, why did I have to take it out on you? You didn't do anything. No, I didn't do anything. I didn't know that you and Mr. Loretta... Uh, I don't think you'd better go into that, Jane. Oh. oh, why not? We might as well have it out and get it over with. Jane, honey, you know I didn't deliberately try to beat you out of this contest, don't you? Why well, didn't even enter it? Yes, but Neil said that I was the one that was going to win it. I'd rather not mention that gentleman's name. You didn't. I was the one that said that Neil said. Well, I don't care to discuss it. Jane, I think you ought to be told that Marge and Neil are, uh, well, not that way about each other anymore. Oh, he is, too. Why, when he was here last night, he said What? That... He came here last night? Uh, yes, I meant to tell you. Well, that... what did he want? He wanted well... to see you. Then when we told him that you guys had gotten into that car with Mr. Lorenz and the show... Oh. Well, that's all right, Jane. I told her you were at the window, peeking as usual. Well, I went over to fix the curtain. Can I help oh, it if yeah. I saw the car? Oh, yeah. He was pretty yeah. upset, Marge. He came out to apologize at first, uh, but uh, when Jane told him that you had gone out with Mr. Lorenz again, well, that sort of... Uh... I see. That sort of convinced him. Well, it's... Well, it's all right with me. At first, I was interested in getting Mr. Lorenz to clear away some of this mix-up, just to straighten myself out with Neil. But that doesn't seem to matter anymore. He can think whatever he likes. Oh. Oh, but Marge, he's awfully nice. And after all, you're only young once in a while. Oh, Jane, they're all alike. And you can do me one favor. If he ever comes out again, warn me and I won't be home. If he calls up, I'm not home. If he doesn't... Don't worry about that. He won't come out and he won't call up. Well, that suits me. Oh, he won't, won't he? Oh, sit down, Marge. How do you know it's Neil? Well, I'm not taking any chances. Oh, uh, wait a minute, Marge. Don't go. I'll look through the window and I can see if it is. Now, don't go. Now, don't fool me, Jane. I won't. I'll turn on the porch light. Well, who is it? Well, wait a minute. I can't see it. Oh, it's a lady. A lady? Who? I don't know. I've seen her before, but I can't... Oh, she's beautiful. Look at that coat, Marge. Well, how about letting her in? and We can all take a look. Uh, hurry, dear. Let her in. Now, how do you, uh, who do you suppose this can be? Who is she now? I know her, but I can't remember where I... I'm awfully sorry to intrude this way, but I wonder if you can tell me if I have the right address. I'm looking for the party who lives next door here. Uh, next door? Oh, Mr. Lorenz, you mean? Yes, Mr. Lorenz. I've been knocking at doors and ringing bells, but no one seems to answer. Uh, oh, well, uh, he may be out. He's. Oh, well, won't you come in for a few minutes? He, he may be back soon. Well, if you're sure I'm not intruding. Oh, not at all. He ought to be back soon. He, he seldom stays out, way. Right? Oh, stupid of me to dismiss my taxi, but I never dreamed that he'd be out. Oh, good evening. I'm sorry. Oh, good I'm... evening. Uh, this is, uh, Miss Hale. Miss, uh, I didn't get your name. <laughs> oh, good grief. Don't tell me you don't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still don't know your what name. What kind of a hick town is this, anyway? Hick town? Haven't this... you people heard about the movies, or haven't they come around here yet? Oh, are you somebody we should know? I'm Betty Lamar. Betty Lamar. I knew I knew you. It's Betty Lamar. Oh, yes, now I recognize you. Well, I apologize for all of us, Miss Oh, Lamar. yes. Well, of all people, why, the minute I saw you, I knew I knew you. I had your name on the tip of my fingers. You are... You've always been one of my favorites. The minute I saw you, oh, I knew... Oh, you sit down, Miss Lamar? Thank you. But have you any idea what time Mr. Lorenz will be back? Well, no, we haven't. We don't see much uh, of him. He's busy, I guess, on this movie contest he started here. I suppose you've heard of the contest. Oh, so he started one of those things here, too, has he? Oh, why does he make a habit of these movies? Now? I could have guessed it. I wondered what kept him here so long. What a town this is. Well, we're sorry you don't He's like He's going it. to shoot some of the scenes for his picture here, we understood. Oh, he is. Yes, the papers have been full of it in this contest he's putting on. I see. How did you happen to blow into our town, Miss Lamar? Did you just 
come from Hollywood? Oh, practically. Left there this morning. Flew in. Well, uh, didn't you know about his idea of shooting some of the scenes here in the contest and all? Well, I might have guessed it. Uh, I think you'd better sit down and make yourself comfortable, Miss Lamar. That is, if you're going to wait for him. Uh... Well, have you any idea of where I might find him now? Now, at this moment, is it that urgent? I think it's going to be. Do you know Joan Crawford? Jane, will you please stop asking those questions? Please, dear, don't interrupt us. He doesn't understand. Uh, Miss Lamar. Oh, what is uh, Yes, what is it? Um... Let me see, I forgot what I was going... Oh, yes, uh, who do you think is better in the theater, Greta Garbo or Marlene Dietrich? Bank night. Uh, <laughs> is there anywhere I could call up and find out where he is? No, we don't know where he goes. We have seen a little of him. He's more or less of a celebrity in town, you know. Yes, isn't he? Yeah. Is it so urgent that you have I to... I find... think it is. You see, I'm Mrs. Lorenz. Mrs. Lorenz? Oh, so you're... Oh, Mrs. then Lamar is your... My screen name. So you see, I have more than just a passing interest in Mr. Lorenz. Oh, sure. Mrs. Lorenz. Well, now, is there some information you can give me as to where I might find him at this moment? I want to surprise him. Well, we really don't know where. We really couldn't say. No, we don't see your son every day. He my can... son? <laughs> did she say my oh, son? Oh, now, just a minute, Jane. How can you well, say Well, did it? she say she was Mrs. Lorenz? Well, if Mr. Ace thinks he's had trouble up until now, wait till he finds out the real meaning of trouble as it's dished out by the fiery Betty Lamar, who is Mrs. Lorenz. We learn about that when next we meet the Easy Aces.